Expect to see plenty of mushrooms after last night's rain. Great news for fungal fans across Central Texas. Mushroom foraging is becoming a popular hobby in our area. It's part of a growing trend nationwide. KXAN's Eric Henriksen suited up to take an in-depth look at why mushrooms are popping off now and the local farm that's helping pave the way. All right, so we have our lion's mane and our yellow oysters. At Small Hold Mushroom Farm. Uh, trumpets, yellow oysters, beautiful blue oyster mushroom. Mushrooms are in full bloom. It looks a little bit strange. It's kind of this puffy, fluff fall cloud. They're kind of a great like shrimp or fish comparable. At first, the company would grow the mushrooms in grocery stores like Central Market before scaling up to this high-tech facility in Buda. We're trying to replicate nature. We're trying to create the environment in which the mushrooms are are most at home. Travis Bryan with Small Hold says that mushrooms thrive in a moist, oxygen-rich environment. So what, what you're seeing here uh, is the mycelium block. All of this white is the root system of the mushroom. That's called the mycelial network. Made of sterilized sawdust. Basically replicating a like a freshly fallen tree in the forest. The mushrooms take only a few weeks to grow. You have a, a younger mushroom a few days later. You've got a mushroom like this. Travis says there are potentially hundreds of thousands of species. It's this entire kingdom of life that really humans don't entirely understand how to work with, and we're just starting to discover. That discovery is occurring in places like Commodore in downtown Austin. So there's been a big shift in mushroom usage in the kitchen over the last few years. Philip Spear has been a chef in Austin for 27 years. From a restaurant standpoint, it's the most consistent and available product we can purchase. Chef Spear buys from Smallhold as well as several other smaller farms, but he's also part of the growing hobbyist community of foragers. These here are uh, chicken of woods mushrooms that I've gotten just in my neighborhood, this mushroom foraging trip I went on recently, I uh, was able to get enough probably to last the whole night's service. Chef Spear said he's noticed a shift with more people willing to try mushrooms in meals. I feel like mushrooms is one of those things similar to like beets where people maybe have had a preparation of them that left them feeling weird. We're starting to see more and more people get interested in mushrooms. Yeah, I think we look at Asia where people eat 20, 50 pounds of mushrooms a year per capita. America, Americans are like two pounds. And mushroom farming can be good for the environment. Our mushrooms produce about three, four pounds of carbon dioxide per pound of mushrooms. Compare that to beef, which is like 200 pounds of carbon dioxide equivalents to the atmosphere per pound. We use about a gallon of water to produce a pound of mushrooms versus tomatoes, which is like 20 gallons of water. And Travis says the mycelium blocks can be reused or turned into fertilizer. I think that this is definitely not just a food fad. There's just like kind of like a mycology craze right now where people are understanding the health benefits of mushrooms beyond ingesting them as food. Whether being on your plate or helping put more food there, mushrooms are finally taking their place in the culinary kingdom. In Buda, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. Mushroom farms have another advantage over traditional farms, recovery. After the winter storm, Smallhold said they were able to recoup their crop within only a few weeks.